Good evening. Sometimes in politics you make mistakes and there's no going back. The mini budget's an obvious example, I guess. But sometimes in politics you make mistakes from which you can and you should retreat. The reappointment of Suella Braverman as Home Secretary is one of those mistakes. This is a really important time for Rishi Sunak. It's his once only chance to show himself anew to the country as its leader, to get a fresh hearing, to restart the Tories after recent disasters. And the Braverman problem is wrecking that fresh start. Ideally, the Prime Minister needs to persuade her to resign again of her own free will, saying she's realised she's become a distraction. If not, then I'm afraid she has to, he has to show her the door. Now, I do understand why she was appointed. As I argued yesterday, Suella Bravman is part of the reason, not all of the reason, but part of the reason why Rishi Sunak is Prime Minister. Labour says he did a dirty deal with her. I don't know, but I doubt it was like that. I can't believe Braverman looked Sunak in the eye and said, my price is the Home Office, and that he said, well, in that case, I give you the Home Office. Real life is more nuanced. I do believe that the Prime Minister was well aware that if he thought he was going to have to raise taxes, for instance, keeping a standard bearer of the right wing close to him was a clever thing to do. And perhaps for about half an hour it was. But it doesn't look so clever now. Ministers speak of the importance of giving people a second chance and the value of redemption. This afternoon, I've had Tory MPs coming up to me and saying that for security reasons and for the good of the party, she has to go. Jake Berry, the former Tory chairman who sat alongside Suella Braverman in Cabinet under Liz Truss, said yesterday she had been responsible for really serious breaches in the ministerial code. Indeed, that she had committed multiple breaches of that code while Home Secretary. There are supposed to be more newspaper stories around that issue about to break any day. Today, Mark Pritchard, a Conservative MP and former member of the Intelligence and Security Committee, tweeted... MI5 need to have confidence in the Home Secretary, whoever that might be. It's a vital relationship of trust, key to the UK's security and democratic oversight of MI5. Any breakdown in that relationship is bad for the security service and the government. It needs to be sorted as soon as possible. I just don't think this is sustainable. Rishi Sunak may feel that he's showing strong leadership by holding out. No new inquiry, we hear tonight. But from the outside, I'm afraid it looks like a whopper of a mistake. But this is a mistake the Prime Minister can still reverse. <laughs>